You guys might remember I bought these two Electrolux vacuums at a garage sale about two months ago, I think. Well, they both sold last night to the same buyer. Morning guys, it is the start of another work week and I'm gonna try to do some more vlogging style of what I'm doing in the warehouse. I did one last week and you guys seem to enjoy it. So I'm gonna try to do like one per week, just kind of show you a little snippets here and there of what I'm doing during the week. Um, I wish I had time to make a video every day, but unfortunately I don't, but I'm still gonna try to put something out there to show you guys what I'm doing around here. Started putting some signs on the wall. A few people were telling me that they were tired of looking at boring white walls, so threw some signs on there. My wife actually got me this one. Thought that was really cool, and then we took that picture of the Reds game on Sunday, and we all went as a family. This right here, I got from Andy, the Paired Head Picker. If you guys have not seen his channel, I'll put a link to it down below. It is an autographed photo of Casey Kasem. I really like American Top 40, and it's just classic. This I got on my friend's website. Um, this is some artwork that he did. His uh, artist is Mowgli. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check out his artwork. He does a lot of really cool stuff, and I just loved this one. He didn't make a print of it. It was just a bandana, but it says, I refuse to sink. I will stay afloat. And then last thing I'll show you guys. This is a dollar bill that I won in a bet from Lonnie. We were in Tennessee at the Highway 70 yard sale last year. And I guess the saying down there is, how you mom and them? And Lonnie didn't think that I would say it to somebody at a sale. And he bet me a dollar and I said it. And I think we got it on camera too in one of the old videos. And he gave me a buck and I made him sign it. And I framed it. I had a really good weekend of sales. Like 20 or so items going out. Sold some scuba gear for $16,999, a couple bobbleheads, I think it was worth for $17.99 plus shipping. Uh, sold a yearbook. <laughs> I've got a ton of yearbooks, but they seem to sell periodically. A lot of bread and butter stuff. You know, a lot of this is like $20 stuff, $10 stuff, and then, you know, there's some higher dollar things sprinkled in. But yeah, not too bad for a week into sales. Well, I told you guys I was going to replace this huge printer. And I did. My Dymo 4XL just came in the mail, and I'm gonna get this thing set up. Look how much smaller this thing is compared to my other printer. This is probably like one eighth the size. This thing uh, is a laser printer, so it takes toner, so it's a lot cheaper than like an inkjet, but the toner still costs money. So there's black toner, then there's three color toners. These things go for like $30 to $40 each when I have to replace them. And this is a thermal printer. So it doesn't use any kind of ink, toner, none of that stuff. So I'm going to save a bunch of money. I got this clock over the weekend and I found a similar one a few months ago. Like this is supposed to spin. I think some of these parts might spin around. I'm gonna pop some batteries in this thing, see if it works. So what I did with the last one I sold is I took a video of it and I added it to the eBay listing and I think that helped it sell. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Okay, so I uploaded my video to YouTube and I just made it unlisted. So the only way to see it is with the link. So what you do is go to flippertools.com. This is a really cool website. There's a lot of awesome stuff for resellers in here. And they have this uh, code link. Basically it creates an embed link for your video for your product. So you just copy and paste the link in there You hit okay and then hit the copy button. It copies it to the clipboard. And then you go into your eBay listing and scroll down to HTML. Go to your description and hit HTML. And I'm just gonna enter through a couple times. I'm gonna hit paste. I'm gonna update the listing. So here's my listing. I've got all my pictures. And then you scroll down and 
there is my video. Obviously, I don't put videos with everything I list on eBay, but there are special circumstances, and I think this is one of them. A clock like this, a picture just doesn't do it justice. You kind of need to see the thing spinning, you know, hear the music playing. Honestly, I'm really surprised eBay doesn't have an easier way to embed a video. Like, when you go to take the picture, it should just let you add a video instead of having to jump through all these hoops. I will put a link down below to flippertools.com if you guys want to put videos in your listings or if you just want to check it out for other stuff. It's not my website, but I know the guy that does it. Really smart guy and just a lot of free resources and tools. Got something in the mail today. I'm excited to show you guys. Let's take a look. This is the official Garage Flips mug. Lonnie's a good friend of mine and I wanted to buy the first one. My neighbors don't know what I do in this shed. <laughs> I like the little card he puts with these two. Lonnie, thanks for the mug, buddy. Um, if you guys don't know about Garage Flips, um, he lives out in Louisiana and he does pretty much what I do. He sells on eBay and goes to garage sales, finds stuff. And Lonnie is one of the first YouTubers I started watching and kind of inspired me to make my own channel. So I'd say you guys probably already know about Lonnie, but if you don't, I'll put a link down in the description of this video to check him out. He decided to make these mugs um, because he is raising money for breast cancer awareness. Uh, he and his wife kind of do like a fundraiser every year. And this year they decided to make some mugs and 100% of the proceeds are going to the American Cancer Society. So if you guys are interested in these mugs, go check out his channel. I know his first batch sold out really quick, but I think he should be getting some more in probably pretty soon. And I think he's doing like different uh, sayings and like different, uh, different colors and all kinds of styles and stuff. So check it out. Got some big stuff shipping out today. This right here is the frame for the speaker, I showed you guys, I got it at a garage sale over the weekend, paid 50 bucks for it, and listed it for 180 or best offer. Someone in Italy sent me a best offer of 150, and I took it, and it's shipping out via the global shipping program, so I'm shipping it to Kentucky, and then they're taking it from there and shipping it to Italy, but it's got a really long way to go, so I'm going to pack this thing really well and make sure it gets there safely. This guy, um, I bought this a few months ago. I just got around to listing it like a week ago, and it sold. Got $59.99 plus shipping. Uh, these TV VCR combo units sell. They really do. And this one is going all the way out to California. So I'm going to have to pack this really well, too. I use Styrofoam when I pack these, and I'll kind of show you guys a little bit of what I do. Um, I actually learned it from a YouTube video. A guy did a whole video exclusively on how to pack these CRT TVs and I've sold five or six of them now and knock on wood I've not had any of them break or damaged or anything in transit so I'll show that to you guys all right for this guy I already had a good box this thing is nice and sturdy I think it's gonna fit it well and I got some styrofoam for the TV and I'm going to use some of that leftover styrofoam to pack this thing. Uh, as far as the TV goes, I usually like to buy boxes for them. I don't, I don't really buy boxes. I get a lot of boxes out of the dumpster. But I like to get something really sturdy, heavy duty that is going to last the trip. And I think this one will do the job. All right. So I've got the styrofoam marked off where I'm going to cut it with this soldering iron. These things work really well. They just like cut right through that styrofoam basically we're trying to get styrofoam on the bottom that's all around the sides and we're gonna have some on top too i'm not going to go into great detail with this packing job but i will put a link in the description below um for how i learned how to pack these tvs because the guy does a really good job of explaining everything all right kind of got the wall of styrofoam here now we are going to Put the TV in basically a garbage bag because we don't want little pieces of styrofoam to get in the TV.
Don't want to forget the remote. Let's put that in there. There's some extra pieces of styrofoam we got. We're going to put that in there. All right, it's all packed up. I'm just going to mark it this side up. Uh, probably throw some fragile stickers on there. And it's good to go. That took me about 20 minutes to pack. Um, and with the listing time and everything, I'm into it for maybe 30 minutes. So $5 into it, 30 minutes of work, sold for 60 bucks plus shipping. I'll take it. All right, the big cast iron piece, I've got it wrapped up. And I'm going to put some styrofoam in this box just to make sure it doesn't move at all. All right, got styrofoam all around this thing. Probably gonna do some more uh, paper and just give it a really good shake. Make sure it's not moving at all. You guys might remember, I bought these two Electrolux vacuums at a garage sale about two months ago, I think. I got both of them and all kinds of attachments. Like there's bags and hoses and all kinds of pieces. And I paid 20 bucks for everything. I listed them on eBay pretty much right away. And I think I listed one for like 60, another for 70. They both worked. They both worked really well, actually. I tested them out. But these things are just huge. And they're really heavy. They're like 25 pounds each. Well, they both sold last night to the same buyer. The username I blurred out here. Uh, but the buyer is IKTMIT Props. So I'm thinking it's a prop, you know, either prop company or prop for a show or something. So I Googled IKTMIT and it's an HBO show called I Know This Much Is True. And I look at where they're filming and they're filming in Poughkeepsie, New York. And that's where these vacuums are going. I've never sold anything on eBay that winds up, you know, going on a show or some prop company or something like that. So I think it's pretty cool and be pretty awesome if these things actually get some screen time on the show. If you guys have ever sold any kind of props to like a show or something, I'd love to hear about it. Leave a comment below what you sold and what show it was on. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.